Okay. Hey guys, welcome to the We Network podcast. This is episode nine, and I am Hisham Ichiya, aka Sparkman. Unfortunately, though, Mount Bear wasn't able to join us since you know he has a life and everything, and so do most of us. So he isn't here. But fortunately, we do have someone who is equally um, as awesome. Oh my god, my best friends ever, Dave. Hey, Dave. Howdy. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Not too much, man. <laughs> He's one of yeah. Um, my name is. There you go, you go. Uh, he's one of our, um, our many fans uh, of our videos and also our podcast, and just an all-round cool guy. Take it away, Dave. Yeah, too right. Um, I mean, I'm new to this whole podcast thing, already sort of broadcasting, so don't expect too much out of me, but I am an extremely opinionated person. <laughs> uh, I remember, like, I- I'd known Hisham since secondary school, and the raging debates we'd have every single day. About, like pretty much everything. <laughs> about pretty much everything. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, they, they Especially did like in... PS3 and Wii versus Xbox. Yeah, definitely. Well, um, Dave did fill us in, so hopefully everyone give him a, a warm welcome and everything. So let's get started, shall we? Um, we'll talk about the games we've been playing to, um, this week. Um, I just finished uh, Half Life um, Two, Episode Two. Um, Half Life Two is amazing. Um, can you, do you agree, yeah. Dave? I completely agree. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, like Episode Two, with those like free roam bits and the huge strider battles, it was. That was epic. I loved Although it. Although it was a bit you know. <laughs> yeah, true. But it was epic. Yeah, I, I did die an awful lot. <laughs> but yeah. Um, Amazing game. I, I've just been playing like games. But for someone like me who just dislikes FPSs, I've been playing quite a lot. Um, I'm playing Left 4 Dead as usual, Left 4 Dead 2 demo. Um, put so many hours into that. Uh, what else? Uh, and Team Fortress 2 as well. I've been getting back on that. I found so many amazing modded maps. I found literally one that looks like heaven because it's a Mario Kart map. There's like Mario stuff everywhere. There's like anime stuff everywhere. No more heroes posters all over the place. And like it just looks amazing and colourful and I love it. That's genius. I know. I- I've always been a huge fan of Team Fortress 2. And Left 4 Dead actually. That was like it's a nerdy thing to say, but that was my game in 2008. Yeah, I mean I just love how innovative it was, was how it actually had four player for the first time in years. Like since N64 really. It also, well, the main thing I loved about Left 4 Dead was that it wasn't really scary in a way that you're like, oh my god, zombies. It was like, it was, it, it was more or less, it made you panic and it made you wary of you know, your health, who had what. It was what, like, like less scary and more intense. I yeah, it. It, it, made, it made you feel like you were actually in that situation that you were, you know, with three other people that you don't really know very well and, you know, you're against this whole army of are dead basically. It just felt really, really good. Everybody comes up. Yeah, yeah. And uh, although I've, I've got to say, I'm still a little bit questionable on Left 4 Dead 2. How so? I mean, it, admittedly, I haven't got the demo yet, but um, Damn you. I've seen a lot of trailers, and I love the look of the new special effects. And I love the look of the new characters. What I don't love is the fact that I've seen melee weapons prop up every now and again, which I think will make it a bit too easy. Um. That, the, the thing with melee weapons is, is that the well, melee weapons are just awesome because you have these katanas, you have guitars, uh, frying pans, baseball bats, um, pans. I do want guitar. It, it's awesome. It, it's amazing. Um, the thing with them though is that um, you're only able to attack what's in front of you, so it's not like actually no, I can't really explain it. Um, it's not that unbalanced, but it does kill things in one shot. Basically, I, I don't know how to explain. Is it. it this kind of like a revised edition of the melee attack with the right click? No, it's not. That that just you know pushes people back, and it has a wider yeah, range. Yeah, exactly. But um, this one you can only attack right. like one zombie at a time, or two. Basically, you can't really like attack a whole group that's coming towards you with one swing. Basically. Right, right. Well, that makes sense, I guess. I mean, I can't say too much because I ha- obviously I haven't played it yet. Seriously, download no. it. It's, it's it's awesome. It is great, and it has multiplayer as well, which is surprising. Really, on the demo? Yeah, it's, it's sweet. You don't get into multiplayer in many demos, do you? 
Thanks. Yeah, well, I'll I tell you what, I'll download it overnight tonight and I'll uh, give you a game tomorrow. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So yeah, that's that's pretty much what I've been playing. Um, how about you, Dave? You been playing much? Uh, I well, really I just much. polished <laughs> off. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm a uni student, so I can't really afford video games very much at the moment. Yeah. But I did just uh, dust off Borderlands. Oh, yeah. Um, how is Borderlands, I got my character Dave? to level 15, which is nice. Borderlands is incredible. It's definitely the best game I've played this year. If not the best game I've played in several years. Mm -hmm. It's the perfect FPS. Imagine imagine Bioshock with the theme and humour of Time Splitters, a little bit of Fallout 3, and a little bit of Left 4 Dead because it's a four player online co op, and that's coming close to the brilliance of Borderlands. That sounds incredibly yeah, sexy. Yeah, so yeah, I love it. That sounds incredibly sexy. It is quite a concept. <laughs> But, but yeah, I just got my, my favourite character, Brick, to level 50. Awesome. <laughs> it, it kind of seems yeah, it's like... Yeah, just wicked. It kind of seems like WoW, but um, in, you know, FPS, you know, World of Warcraft, but with, you know, first-person shooter elements in it. I, I guess in a sense, I mean, there's the whole quest objectives are uh, quite similar and everything like that. And obviously it's a pretty big map, you know. Uh, it's not exactly on the scale of Warcraft, but... Oh. Well, I haven't actually got it since I'm poor, and I haven't... I can't really afford games at the moment, I need to get a job. But yeah, um, I heard though that um, the um, the missions are kind of a bit repetitive since you got to kill this or retrieve that. It's, it's, it doesn't really have that much Well, that's the problem with like all... That's the problem with all like quest-based RPGs. Um, but, but actually this one doesn't do too badly. Maybe it's just because um, they keep sending you to a new area before the before it gets stale. Oh, I see. Um, but then again, there aren't actually that many quests. I mean, I completed it for the first time and I got to level 35, I think. Alright. Um, you know, it's not exactly a long game. It's all about building your stats up and then going online. Mm, that's it. That's all. Uh, I still need to... I really need to get it because uh, I want to play it with you on the PC, but also I want to play some of my guys and my mates on, um, on the PS3. I still have to get both of those. Well, that's cool for me. Unfortunately, um, I can't really play Borderlands online here. I've tried it at home, but at uni I've got problems with the internet, so I can't do it. Which is a bit shame. But what I've seen, the online mode is really cool. I heard it's really addictive, but um, like I said, I haven't got it yet. I'm behind on stuff. Although I've been thinking, um, my When I got Borderlands, I felt like. Sorry, man? So I, I've just been hinting to like, my family because coming up soon, and I bought the Apollo present last week, so I've been hinting on what games I want. <laughs> right. So, uh, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, sorry, uh, hopefully, but I'll get back to you know, on the holidays. Um, I honestly can't remember, which is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> that's the <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's the, uh, the games we're playing, so uh, I guess we'll be up the news. It's been pretty slow this week, mainly because I haven't been able to watch hard news yet, because uh, grow attack updates a bit late, um, later than usual, but oh well. Um, first of all, the news that I got myself uh, in the morning. I woke up and I saw my, my Wii flashing. Um, that sounds a bit weird. Um, yeah, uh, the Wii sun is glowing. Like flashing from beneath its trench coat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it, it started glowing. Um, <laughs> um, anyway, uh, yeah, it started glowing and um, I thought it was just going to be another, uh, you know, what to make with the best effects of the channel, say, oh, you can't make it. And I was going to have to use anyway. I got my um, import case, whatever, they have to make import or whatever. Um, but um, to my surprise, actually, they, they're doing a new system, a demo system. Um, something that I've been wanting for quite a while, actually, that's something that I was going to add to my top five, um, top five um, ways to improve the wheel in top five minutes. Next point about the week. Um, but yes, right. you can download now demos. There's only a collection of games you can download at the moment. And they're doing it until the end of January 2010. I'm not too sure why it's that okay, but I'm sure it's more people support it. And, um, you know, could, you know, download the demo physically. I'm sure they'll probably keep the service on because it's actually something that a lot of the other systems are doing. You know, the 360 done it since the beginning, PS3 does it as well and so does you know steam on on the pc so it does seem pretty yeah, cool to have so yeah um what, what yeah absolutely yeah well the only problem i have with it is 
um, one of the same problems with the Wii that's been on throughout, which is like the minimum capacity of the hard drive. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, you do have SD cards, which, which is uh, which is useful because I've got one. Yeah, yeah. But that's yeah. true. That's true. But um, uh, I, yeah, you know, I guess I would worry about it in that sense. But otherwise, I mean, when I play a demo, the idea is that I go out and buy the game and then I delete the demo, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue, you know. Hmm. But yeah, um, the thing is, though, I think 